In this video, I'm going to show you how to split large WBFS files into two so that you can fit them onto a FAT32 formatted USB drive. We're going to turn a large game file like this, where it's one file, into two, like so. That way it can fit on a FAT32 formatted USB drive. Now if you have a FAT32 formatted USB drive, you can't put games more than 4 gigabytes on there, and some games like Super Smash Bros and Xenoblade Chronicles, they're too big to fit. You can format it to NTFS, but then you won't be able to use that USB drive to hold apps because the homebrew channel doesn't read anything that isn't FAT32. So getting right into it, we're going to use Wii Backup Manager. So go to the first link in the description and just click where it says Wii Backup Manager and it should download. It should be quick, so open it up. And I'm just going to put it onto my desktop. I'm going to create a new folder called Wii backup manager and then I'm just gonna highlight everything and drag it into that folder so we'll close that and we'll open Wii backup manager and from here to run it you can just double click on Wii backup manager 64 exe and it should run just click yes and here we go so as of right now on my hard drive on my computer data I have a WBFS folder with all the Wii games that I'm going to be putting on my brother's Wii that I'm modding for him. And we're going to split Xenoblade Chronicles, which is 6 or 7 gigabytes. So first thing you need to make sure is that you have your WBFS folder on the root of whichever hard drive it's on. That way the Wii Backup Manager can read it. And I also have a USB drive that I'm going to put the game on. It has a WBS, WBFS folder with nothing in it because this is where we're gonna where we're gonna transfer it on to. So once you have that both ready in Wii Backup Manager, let's put this in the center, go to drive one where it says inactive, just get it to drop down by clicking it and select the drive where the game is that you want to split. Mine is on drive D. And it should read these are all the games. And then click on drive two and you're gonna select where you want it to go. So I'm going to put drive E, which there's no games on it, so nothing's going to show up. So now go back to drive one and select the game that you want to split. So I'm going down all the way to Xenoblade Chronicles. Select it, and then we're going to transfer to drive two. Just click on drive two, and it should begin transferring now. And this might take a while because it is a bigger game. So I'll meet you when it's done. As you can see, it's taken 25 minutes and it's about six and a half gigabytes. So it does take a little while, but we're done now. So let's go to drive two and we see Xenoblade Chronicles. So let's go open it up in the file. Oops. So now going into the w WBFS folder, we have Xenoblade Chronicles here. If we open it up, you can see that it's split into two files. So WBF one, and WBFS. So now it can fit onto the FAT32 formatted drive. So let's just see here. It's FAT32 and we have a 6.3 gigabyte game on there ready to be played. So it's as easy as that. It just takes a little long to get transferred but it's well worth it because it's better to have your USB drive formatted as FAT32 versus NTFS. So if this video helped you uh, make sure to leave a like it really helps me out and if you want more Wii tutorials check out the description for a Wii modding playlist I have many videos and there's more to come Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care